Greetings. It is time for this month's Paper Kitty, my stationary subscription box. As always, I get the Paper Mystery Pack and the Paper Overload because that's what I like. So let's see what's in the Paper Mystery Pack for this month. I've been getting a lot of repeat items in the mystery pack, so I'm hoping that maybe this month I'll get some stuff that's new in the mystery pack. And it's not a huge mystery pack this time. I'm seeing a grand total of six. One of them is a repeat, the rest are not. So the repeat item is this to-do list with the little spilled cup on it. We did get a little notebook. It is a seal that says, be awesome. Um, I got some, something similar to this last time, but not this exact one. So this is a notebook that comes with a ring clip. And I've actually been using that one quite a bit, actually. Um, and it says, sweet little girl. It's got a girl in a coffee cup and a hamster and a peach and some other peach things. So that's the, I like that particular thing. It's useful and I have been using the one that I already have. So I'm assuming I'll use that one. So this one is post-it notes. They say love has to be make like bread remade all. That is some um, Japanese English. Oh my gosh. I think I'm in love with this. These are translucent sticky notes. I actually was the first one in our school to um, encourage everyone to use translucent sticky notes. We bought some translucent sticky notes and then we bought some sticky notes that had um, a XY grid on it. But this little pack of translucent sticky notes, you get some that are dockies. Then you get a gold gingham. Then you get a bear bun being picked up by chopsticks. Then you get this kind of golden check. And finally, you get some coffee. I like these. This is, this is a big win for me. This is the kind of thing that I like and I use. So I will, these will definitely get put straight into the use immediately pile at school. The last thing in the paper mystery pack is a little stationary set. So we've got a heart stationary set. We've got, let's see how much we've got. I think we've got like maybe three, four sheets of paper, three, and just a couple of envelopes. And that's fine. It's it's a cute little stationary set. I have been writing more letters, so that's always useful. Paper overload. I have no idea what the theme is, but it looks to be travel. And it looks to be travel in Europe. So the first thing we've got is we've got another little paper clip clip with a, I would say that is a British Royal Guard. And then we dive in to the goodies. We have just a little paper picture. Always smile, Pony Brown. 
picture of the Eiffel Tower. We have two bookmarks here. One is, I have no idea where. Gorgeous. And the other one is the Louvre, because that is the glass pyramid. It says, thinking of you, thinking of you and wishing you all life's best today and always. We have a tiny little airmail style envelope. Cute. We have a postcard of Big Ben. And another bookmark, this one says Colorful Vintage and has what I would say is in the style of Thomas Kincaid, but we won't go there. Here's another postcard. This is nice. Uh, the Wind Calls You, first day of issue, and it has a lovely barn on it. Being a Midwestern child, that, that makes perfect sense to me. Um, the next thing is a metal bookmark that's a Memory of New York metal bookmark. And it's the Statue of Liberty. The thing is, it says Statue, yeah, it says Statue of Erty. If you can see that little like paper in the background, it doesn't say Liberty. It says U-R-E-R-T-Y, Erty. And then there's some information about the Statue of Liberty on the back. Another little notepad book thing that's got a bus and says South Wind. So definitely feeling the travel theme here. Okay, these are always good. This is a um, Hello World sticky note set of the volcano. So Mount Fuji more than likely. Another sticky note set. This one, a stamp design. And again, sticking with the Statue of Liberty. And then we're going to open up more paper and get more fun stuff. Whoa, stuff. Interesting stuff. Stuff I had not expected. Stuff I would not have thought. In amongst all of the crinklies. One thing I, I'm really intrigued by. So we got a small envelope. We got a larger one which even the edging on the back is really nice. We got some flake stickers. This would be the travel series. All sorts of little flakes. We got a 2B pencil with the London Guard on it. So two Bs are drawing pencils. They usually don't have an eraser. They're fine. We got a basic brown, nothing exciting here, pen. Looks to be black or dark blue ink. We got a Eiffel Tower keychain. This actually is funny because I actually won an entire pack of Eiffel Tower keychains at a during a trivia contest at um, a movie that we went to. Uh, funny face, actually. Then we have a roll of washi tape that has the Eiffel Tower, the Leaning Tower pizza, the the Arc de Triomphe, uh, Statue of Liberty. I think that's the um, Tower Bridge, but it's got all sorts of places to visit. 
And the thing that I was most intrigued by, it's empty, but it is pretty. It's a little tin with the Eiffel Tower on it. Bestie happens to be a big France and Eiffel Tower fan. So she might get some of this Eiffel Tower merch. Um, the other, only two other things left in the box. We got some stickers. Again, these are travel themed. I actually like this set really well. And a pencil case that is London themed. I love London, phone box, London taxi, Queen's guard, post box, double decker. Nothing on the back, just a cute little pencil case. That is not as huge a haul as we sometimes get, but I actually kind of like this a bit more than some of them, than like the last one we got. This one thematically all really nice. I think well curated and I like pretty much everything we got. So I'm happy with that. So you enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you next time.